This one looks a lot worse than it actually is, all right? And the reason is, is because we have these two z squared values right here, which means we can, they're like terms, that we can combine those. So I got 46 minus the one z squared, giving me 45 z squared. Of course, we still have that minus 21 vz. So we need to look at both terms and see if there's anything we can factor out from both terms. And I see right away that I can factor out of these to a z, which is going to knock that down and this one out. So I'm going to have a z left over in that first term. 45 and 21 are both divisible by 3. Yes, question? All right. Uh, 45 and 21 are both divisible by 3. So I'm going to factor out a 3 out from both the terms. 45 divided by 3 is 15. And then we got minus 21 divided by 3 is 7. And we got a V. I don't see anything else that we can do on this. I don't see any perfect squares, perfect cubes, and no other common factors between 15 and 7. It's done.